to his friend Pompeius Falco. He asked my view of whether I think you should plead in the courts when you are a tribune. A tribune. What matters most in your idea of the nature of the tribunate, whether it is an anti and an extinguished title, or an, or an inviolable office, which is not to be reduced in importance by anyone, not even by the incumbent. I was perhaps in error when tribune, when tribune in, uh, in believing that I had some status, but I refrained from pleading in the cause as thought I had. My first reason was because I thought it degrading that the official in whose presence all should stand, and to whom all should give precedence, should stand while or remain seated, that one who could order each and every person to be silent should be reduced to silence by the hogless, and that and, and that though it was sacrilegious to interrupt him, he should be subjected even to insults, appearing to be a sludge if he endured them without spirit results or arrogant if he imposed them. I emphasize also the perplexity if my client or opponent formally appealed to me. I was I to intervene with the veto and lend him to help and lend him help or to stay mute and say nothing, converting myself into a private citizen as if I had, I had resigned the mag magistracy. For these reasons, I chose to appear before all us, before all as tribune rather than before the view as advocate. But once again, I shall say that what matters most is your view of the nature of the tribunate and the role which you impose upon yourself. The watchman must assume that role. That role is uh, in such a way as to sustain it throughout very well.